the tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you Painter 2015 and in particular how you can turn text with a dynamic plugin and with effects combined to create more interesting dynamic plugins, uh, Bevel World in particular. Okay, first thing to do, I've actually got some text here I've created already, and that's a star font design from Graphic Extras, but of course, you could use any uh, font you want. And then I'm just going to go to Layers. If you can't see the layers, just go down there, Window and Layers. Dynamic plugins are there, so Bevel World. So commit to Image Layer, yes, commit. So once you've actually done that, you'll actually see a bevel appear. It does take a few seconds, it actually adds. Right. So now you've got the actual bevel dis design here. You can modify it, of course. But the whole point of this video is to actually show you the application of effects and then another bevel world. So just got the design. So you go to effects and I'm going to go with zoom blur because that actually modifies the shape quite uh, dramatically. So commit to another image layer. So now, obviously it's just applying the zoom blur. And you see actually it's quite dramatic now. I don't want it to be that dramatic. I don't want to completely lose the star design. So, so the star design, I'm just gonna, and of course you can actually modify where, you can click in the image to see where you actually want the zoom to come from. So it's gonna obviously come back from that position now. Okay, so I've actually got this design. So click okay. Now, of course, I can still go back to the dynamic plugin. This is obviously not live, so of course the, the original dynamic plugin is gone, but I'm gonna go for bevel world. And now you can actually add a bevel world to this. So you can actually create some really unusual, interesting bevels just by combining effects and bevel world. So I'm just gonna move the light to a different angle so you can see it actually creates many different different types of bevels just by changing the light. Now, I'm going to modify the bevel width a little bit so you can actually see that. You can modify the smoothing as well. Also, you can, of course, still continue to add outside portion as well, modify the color as well, so I don't have to go with that. I can actually go with a yellow. So you can actually see an interesting border as well, or edge. Now, I can, of course, still modify that even further, go to effects, and zoom blur again. Again, it'll come up with the same dialogue. And again, I've just got this effect. I can again modify the position, but I'll go with the what it is. So click OK. And then, of course, finally, you can go again back to the dynamic plugin and bevel world and add another bevel. And of course, you can modify it. You can modify the position of the light as well as again modify the actual bevel again. I right, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Just basically to show you that bevels can be combined with multiple bevels and effects to create some well, far more interesting bevel designs than just maybe with the default settings.